all right? Do not ever pay collections. Why? Well, because what they might be doing is illegal and you may not have any clue. After watching this video, you will have a much better understanding of the derogatory marks on your credit score, how long they can harass you for, and if you have to even bother paying it. All that and more, keep it locked as Crystal with the Cash Compass. Alright, so welcome and welcome back. I am here to teach you all the things about money that you should have learned in school, but you was too busy sitting in indoor detention. Please be sure to subscribe because we talk about everything from personal finance to the economy to investing, and I get right into it. So let's discuss the main derogatory marks that will have a huge impact on your credit, and that is basically the charge-offs and collections. Now there is a difference, and just so that we are clear, when things are charged off, the company was basically like, fuck it. Just, mm, we just not gonna get it anymore and they're gonna take it off of their books. They have pretty much lost any faith they had in you to pay back and they take what we call in these days an L. Collections conversely is when the company says, all right, forget it, we are not gonna get this money, but we wanna get at least a little something for it. So if you owed a thousand dollars, they might sell your loan to a collections agency for say, 200 so they don't have to write off the full thousand dollar loss they could just take a 800 dollar loss and then they sold it to joe schmo for 200 dollars now joe schmo at the collections agency has it good right because if they have your loan and they only pay 200 for it but it's really worth a thousand they will try all different type of techniques to get to you so that you can pay the full thousand then they made 800 dollars Whatever you pay above what they've paid will be their profit. So they are going to do whatever they can to make sure that you pay that amount in full. Now there's a few things we need to discuss as far as timelines and how long they can harass you and whether or not you should pay, which obviously this is not financial advice. You do you. So let's talk about credit scores and lawsuits. There is a statute of limitations for lawsuits. You cannot get sued forever for an $1,000 balance that you owed back in 1980s. It varies state by state. I will have a link in the description below that will show the statute of limitations for your state. But once it passes that amount of years, let's just say five years, they cannot legally sue you. Now it does depend on what the debt is, right? Because student loans, just like child support, you can never get rid of them. So think twice before having kids or going to school. <laughs> But it's important to note that after a statute of limitations has passed, you can still get harassed. They can harass you till the last day of your life, but they just can't sue you for the amount. And the thing is, they profit because a lot of people don't really know that information, so they figure, let me just get rid of this person. But they really can't take much legal action against you as long as you do what I'm going to mention in this video, so keep on watching. It's still gonna have an impact on your credit score, but at least you know you don't have to deal with any legal fees and having to end up paying this amount back anyway. But although there is a limit on how many years out they can pursue you, that limit can actually restart and it will be all your fault. And to put it in very basic terms, any acknowledgement that you own that amount can restart the whole statute of limitations all over again. So keep your mouth closed. Don't agree to pay over the phone. Don't acknowledge that it's yours. Plead the fifth and ask for everything in writing. You ask for the company's name, you ask them to mail you whatever documentation they have, and then you go from there. But do not admit anything on the phone because it will reset your statute of limitations. Also, what's really important to know and make sure that you do so you can avoid ever resetting this is hitting that like button for the YouTube algorithm. But let's say you've passed your statute of limitations, but you're worried about your credit score. So let's talk about the timeline for that. Typically, all good information on your credit score will last for about 10 years and all negative information will last for about seven years. So if you're at a point where you're pretty much like, eh, don't think I'm gonna need my credit for the next seven years, probably gonna just write this out and not pay. You know, that's your decision, but the idea is if you're not gonna use your credit, you could potentially just let it fall off and then you're gonna pretty much get a new leaf after seven years and you'll see improvements in your credit score. If you have more of that moral character though and you just want to pay it off because it's the principle, like literally it's the principle and maybe interest, <laughs> you can do so. And what you pay off will determine how much your credit score improves. I have heard mixed things about this but basically some people have had luck with paying off the balance in full and getting it removed from their credit report. Typically, I, you would expect to do this with the original lender. Once it reaches collections, I'm not sure if it's an option at all, but check with your collections agency, do your research on that. 
if it's still with the original lender you may be able to get it deleted but if not you don't fret you can still have improvements to your credit score if you pay it in full it will still show as a derogatory mark but it will show paid in full which will give you a much better boost versus having a partial payment which it will still show that you didn't pay but then it will show partial payments now like i said before i'm not sure if it will get removed if you do pay up uh so definitely check with the original lender but if it does you will see an immediate boost in your credit score dramatically so what can you do can you avoid paying debt collectors altogether maybe the first thing to do is make sure they got them receipts honey ask them for that proof you have to make sure you do this within 30 days of receiving the collections notice and they have to provide you a substantial evidence that you actually owe this amount they can't just call you and say guess what you owe a thousand dollars they have to show some sort of proof from the original lender with your name and the exact amount on there that you owe if you wait after 30 days to do this and you have to send this in writing by the way and make sure that when you send it it's certified mail so that you can confirm that they have received it if you don't do this within 30 days you might not have the same protections or not might you don't have the same protections it's important to know if they cannot generate that information from the original lender they can't just pull a number out of a hat and say that's what you owe they have to show and prove that and they might get some people with that but they won't get you because you're watching this video so like i said if they can't do that then you don't have to pay it at all if they can provide that information i've discussed you can just say Forget about it. It will show as a derogatory mark on your credit report, but it will roll off after seven years. And that's for collections, that's for charge-offs, that's for bankruptcies, seven years for the most part. Like I said again, settle for a lesser amount. Making a full payment will be better than making a partial payment. If you choose this route, I don't know if y'all are seeing a glare on my face because I keep on getting blinded. If you choose this route, get that in writing. You do not want the collection agencies to get confused and mistake that for a partial payment also note that that will reset your statute of limitations so stay woke get it in writing make sure both parties understand that this is the final amount that i'm paying this will satisfy the debt and deuces have a nice life and like i discussed your last option is to say forget about it you don't need your credit maybe you don't necessarily care you're not looking to buy a house a car you're not looking to do anything like that for the next seven years so you're chilling Again, not suggesting this, you do you, do what works for your situation. But note that if you are going this route, collection agencies can continue to harass you till the day you die. And you might be okay with that. Maybe you need some company, so you like when they call you, I don't know. <laughs> that is all for this video. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, drop it in the comments below. Check out my other videos over here. Stay woke. <laughs>